The residents are using the place for recreational activities and others are fishing in the river for livelihood. The dam recently claimed the lives of two Ministry of Health employees. Michael Handubo, one of the fishermen, is of the view that the concrete slab that acts as a solid surface we want to walk on is only good if you know the way. However, a single misstep could cause a life. Handubo has been a Khobabas resident for over 23 years now. He says back then one could see the concrete slab, however, that slab is now submerged underneath the Tilda Filyun Dam, hardly visible. He takes a swim in the dam to demonstrate what he means. As can be seen, his chest is above the water. However, as he starts to move to the left, he cannot walk anymore and has to start swimming because he is no longer supported by the concrete slab. He says he is willing to assist anyone who wants to learn to swim, but he says it is risky to take the responsibility to publicly teach people to swim. I might get into trouble with the government and the parents, so we both have to abide by the law, because if I teach someone and they fall into the water, I might get into trouble, but if the law gives me the go-ahead, then I can teach and we walk together with no problem. Handubo knows that if there was an incentive, he would sit at the dam and assist residents with lifeguard duties for the festive season as it would reduce drownings at the dam. Bartemir's Joy, who has been a Khobabas resident since 1983, says back then the current location of the dam was in fact the entrance point to the town. We lost a lot of people in this water. Even I'm scared of this place, so I usually go around it. I've seen a lot of people fall in there, and if there's no concrete slab, it's dangerous, and you can easily fall inside. The Hobabas municipality proposed to numb water to fence off the dam. After the recent drones, the council decided to engage the numb water through a letter whereby council expressed its concerns regarding the activities around the dam. Council proposed in each letter that numb water should fence off the area or appoint a security guard to guard the area and to put up signs alerting the people about the dangers. This cannot happen without engagement with the other stakeholders like the police, Hobabas constituency councillor, business community and the public at large.